since, uh, since Christmas, since the girls have come back, um, we've sort of really focused in on game situations and game simulation. We're not too far away now from round one and from practice matches. So yeah, it's, it's definitely transitioned into actually matched, matched play and, and game simulation to get them really um, as prepared as possible. We all are really familiar with how each other plays now and, and what our strengths and weaknesses are. Um, but as I said, nothing really prepares you for a game until you play one and, and learn more about each other. So yeah, the Bulldogs game is going to be really important. We expect it to be really high intensity and, and, and a lot of pressure. Um, we have a lot of respect for the Bulldogs list and, and the coaching group. So we'd probably ex expect nothing, nothing but that from them and um, looking forward to, to challenging ourselves. Yeah, my personal um, pre-season has been, been really, really solid. Um, had a little bit of a um, sort of held back a little bit to start with, just recovering from, from the knee operation, but I um, wanted to make sure I ticked every box there to make sure I was 100% right and not um, at 90%, you know, that tends to actually produce more injuries. So really focused in on making sure my strength was there, my stability was there and I was ready to go. So really feeling um, great out there on the track now and, and I can't wait to get into games now to actually you know, put all that training into fruition. I've communicated with the coaching staff and the players that obviously between the hours of nine to five, I'm, I'm an operations manager and um, from five o'clock, yeah, I become a player and a teammate and um, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. I enjoy being able to, I guess, transition into being a player and ultimately um, being a player and, and being able to do what you love doing is a, is a great release from you know, certain stresses or um, anything that comes with being operations, but yeah, it's been pretty pretty easy actually because everyone's all on the same page and they all understand that you know certain hours are operations and certain hours I'm a player and it, um, you know everyone's all all working you know really well. Yeah, the Queen of Training um, has uh, was an idea brought in by by Wayne. Um, he spent a lot of time with the with the male program and they've got the king of the track um, going at the moment. So it's just a way of acknowledging. Um, players that have you know, really stood out on, on training nights and, and done things that they, you know, they're required to do by the, by the um, coaching staff but, but gone above and beyond. So we've had a really good spread of, um, of I guess, queens uh, throughout the whole pre-season, some defenders, forwards, mids. Um, that's voted on by all the coaching staff after every training session. It's the 3-2-1 vote. Oh, certainly gets competitive, um, but I guess when you're out there you don't really you know, training to become the queen of training. It's all to be actually the best player you can be for your teammates. But um, certain standards, obviously, you know, um, Steph Kiochi's um, won it on a couple of occasions. Um, you know, Cecilia McIntosh as well, and, and Stacey Livingston um, is the current owner of the of the top. Um, but there's there's challenges every week, and um, yeah, there's probably going to be a new new owner next week.